Hello everyone, it's Monkazunky here, and it is time for my guide video on the task of Ice Strike Worms. Now, to receive this task, you need 93 Slayer, and you also have to have a Fire Cape, a Tokar Cal, or a Completionist Cape um, to be able to kill the Ice Strike Worms, or you can purchase the ability to kill them without a Fire Cape from Curadel for 2,000 points. For 2,000 Slayer points, that is, but since it's so easy to get a Fire Cape these days, I wouldn't recommend that. So you're going to need a fire cape to actually do this task once you receive it, so just keep that in mind. Um, you also need to have completed the quest, The Tale of the Muzpa. I'm not going to go into that because it's a novice quest and extremely easy to complete. So before we get started on going to the Ice Strike Worms, we're just going to go over my gear and my inventory that you need to kill them. So of course you want to be wearing the Full Slayer Helm, which gives the magic bonus, the Fire Cape, or Tokar Cal, or Completionist Cape. A Max Cape does not work, so don't try to bring it. Um, I decide to wear Subjugation because it has a Mage Damage bonus. You can also wear Arms, which has slightly better defense, but if you have 99 defense, um, get, taking damage is not much of a problem. I wear Ganondorink Boots and Gloves. You can switch those out for alternatives if you wish. And I would recommend a Chaotic Staff, or at least a Staff of Light. Anything lower than that isn't going to be as good, however, you could always bring a Polypore Staff or a Virtus Wand or Book. I would recommend a level 80 weapon, such as a Chaotic Staff or Virtus Wand and Book, because it has very good DPS and you can be getting extremely good XP. The ring doesn't matter too much, I wear a Ring of Wealth because I always wear it and it's my lucky charm. So in my inventory, I have my Ring of Slain, just to tell how many kills left. I have my Vecna Skull, you can overload or bring extreme magic potions, which will give you a higher magic boost if you want. I just go with the Vecna Skull because you kill these things so fast anyway, the magic damage boost doesn't matter all that much, because you kill them in two or three hits every time. And you want air runes and fire runes in your inventory, and be using your best fire spell, so either fire wave or fire surge. And I just use the Tokol... To Tokal Zo to get there, and a Bunyip Pouch will pretty much do you with all the healing that you need. So, um, I am on medium graphics because you have to be, and it's the video is going to lag a bit because of that, but to see the Ice Strike Worms in the cave, um, it does not work on minimum detail, so I have to be on medium detail in the graphics settings, so just keep that in mind. The easiest way to get there is just go to any fairy ring and type in the code DKS and that will bring you to the entrance of the cave where the ice strike worms are located so it's extremely handy to have this fairy ring so at the moment of making this video i do believe ice strike worms are the best solar xp in the game if done correctly i tested it for ten minutes and i found them to be a hundred and twenty two k slayer experience per hour it's not going to take you an hour to complete an ice strike worms task but that's by far the easiest way to calculate xp is just by an hourly rate so if you were to get a task assigned enough Ice Strike Worms to last an hour, you would get 122k Slayer XP if going full speed and using abilities appropriately. So anyway, you want to go into the cave and just draw the power on your Vecna Skull, or drink your Extreme Magic Potion, or whatever you have, and attack the Ice Strike Worm and just go ahead and use abilities. And pretty much the strategy here is just to use basics, and then as soon as you have enough um, energy, you get to use Asphyxiate, because Asphyxiate just destroys the Ice Strike Worms and kills them in one ability every time. And some other XP rates is you can get about 280k magic per hour or defense per hour if you happen to be training defense. Another pretty cool thing about the Ice Strike Worms is if you decide to use the ultimate ability Omni Power, um, I'll pause the video and get up to Omni Tower in a second and show you guys, you can actually hit up to 11 or 12k, um, 12k if you're overloaded and that I think is pretty cool so um, you can hit extremely high on these because the fire spells have a bit using fire spells on the ice strike worms has a damage bonus as well as wearing a fire cape which is required unless you bought the ability to not wear it also has a damage bonus so I've filled up my adrenaline here and I'm going to show you the omni power ability on the ice strike worm and if we get lucky I will hit over 10,000 and I hit exactly 10,000 on that Ice Strike Worm. You can hit over him, but you need to get a critical hit to do that. 10,000 is the max hit that you can have without getting a critical. But there have been times when I've hit, um, I believe, 11,400 or something like that was the maximum hit I ever had. It wasn't on an Ice Strike Worm, um, but you can hit extremely high with Mage using the Omni Power ability.
but I prefer to use Asphyxiate because it's more reliable. Um, it always kills them in one shot, and the Omni Power eats up your entire adrenaline bar. But they're both pretty good, and they have their uses. So a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Ice Strike Worms used to be very good money. Uh, this is no longer the case. Task will often take you um, between half an hour and 45 minutes, depending on how closely you're paying attention and using your abilities. And on average, you make, I would say, around 500 to 800k at most. If you get a Staff of Light, you can sometimes make over a mil, depending on how lucky you are with drops. So it's not really the best money as a Slayer task. There are much better Slayer tasks um, that I'll show in later guides that are extremely good money per hour. Um, this is not one of them, unfortunately. But the XP is possibly the best in the game um, for a Slayer task. I have not tested every Slayer task yet. But once I do, I will determine that for sure. But uh, so far, it's the best XP in the game of every Slayer test that I have tested, which is about half of them that curve all signs. And I would highly recommend doing it even just for that reason. So I hope that this guide was helpful to you and that you can understand what a great task Ice Strike Worms are and how fun they are to do as well if you do them correctly. And good luck on your tasks and achieving 99 Slayer.